this gold machine that stands for is formed by a group of super specialized physicians that bring their expertise to the table to do surgery on the base of the skull from all approaches, endonasal, transcranial, traditional approach, less invasive approach. We all meet together to decide what we think is best for each patient. Endoscopic skull base surgery in general is a very complex and detailed type of surgery. The structures that we are working around are some of the most important structures in the entire body. The brain, the big vessels like the carotid artery that bring all the blood to your brain, all the cranial nerves that allow us to see, to speak, to swallow, to smell. All of those are intricately involved right around the area that we're working at the skull base. And so you really need someone who has very specialized training and a lot of experience to do these surgeries appropriately. Tumors in the base of the skull are below the brain. They can grow and they can compress the brain. They could even invade into the brain, but they are outside the brain. That's why surgery of the skull base is challenging because you need to go there, remove the tumor completely if possible, and then preserve the function of those nerves. And often we can actually remove the tumor completely and not only preserve the function, but recover the function that was lost. The technology now is so amazing. We have some of these tools for tractography now in the operating room and exoscopes to look into deep holes to allow us to get to where we need to be. And I think this is an opportunity that we haven't seen before, especially for pediatrics, that we can apply these to some of these really difficult disorders. We have teams of adult and pediatric neurosurgeons that specialize in skull base. We work with the ENT, the ear, nose, and throat skull base team, many other players to try to use minimally invasive approaches to get into very deep holes that we otherwise won't be able to do. We have a very unique working environment with lots of expertise, both from endoscopic skull base, from open microsurgical techniques for vascular disease, and for, for endovascular treatment of complex patients. We discuss patients' symptoms, pathologies, and best treatment options. It's a wonderful situation that allows us to not only provide the best care for our patients, but to be in this environment where we continue to learn. We have found that a multidisciplinary approach using both an ENT and a neurosurgeon results not only in better patient outcomes with tumor resection, but also in how the patient feels afterwards. When the nose surgeon works together with the neurosurgeon, there's less trauma to the nose and to the mucous membranes, and patients do heal better and faster. Skull base surgery has changed so much in such a rapid period of time. We have taken patients who used to spend three months in a hospital in the intensive care unit to a patient who has surgery stays in the hospital for two to three days and then goes on with the rest of their lives. It's amazing what we have been able to accomplish in the last decade. We are all in it for the patient. We want to move our fields forward, not just for science and for the world, but for each and individual patient that comes in to see me in the clinic every single day. And that is what I find in all of my colleagues, and that is why I'm here.